farmer, friend, singer-songwriter, Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer, friend, and jack-of-all-trades, Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Taste Bud Guys. Okay, we're back again. And uh, we're doing beer. Because I'm sure it's Saturday (laughs) for you guys. We try to spread out the beer because there's so much beer out there. Yeah, the beer's a little weird. It's hard to find unique things often enough to make it super interesting. And let's face it, we, and apparently you all, like the um, other beer stuff. Tequila, particularly. Seems like you guys really like tequila. You know, I am shocked. We don't do more scotch. We've done like, what, two scotches, three? We gotta do some more. We've got to do some more scotch. That was what, when we started this, we would have expected that scotch would have been something we'd have done all the time, so we both really enjoy it. I think the price point is... A little prohibitive? Inhibitive? Well, especially now that we've discovered $100 plus tequila. Yeah, tequila's <laughs> really so good. good. Uh, but today, we're not doing that. We're doing clown shoes. You cut me off and jumped ahead. First, you gotta like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and blah, Facebook blah, and Twitter blah, blah, and uh, all that good stuff. <sighs> YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Alarm bell if you want to know when you release new stuff. That would be awesome. And Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we have a donation beer, though. This is the one that someone uh, brought Whoa. up. Who's this from? This is from Christine. Oh, okay. This and this come. This she brought it from Texas, but it's not from Texas. Part of the Texas run. Yeah, no, this is from Boston, right? Or Vermont. Or Vermont. Same. At the very least, Same. it's from up north. Is yeah. that how you say it? North? I think so. This is definitely a Yankee beer. Yeah, so this is uh, from the Clown Shoes Brewery. And it's called uh, Mocha Sombrero. Am I reading that right? Yep, Mocha, Mocha Sombrero. Sombrero. And I think it was a 7% beer. If yeah. I remember correctly, yes, no, maybe. Woo. Did I remember that? Yes, yeah, 7%. And it is a coffee chocolate stout. Mexican. With vanilla. Style. Mexican style. Yeah. Which typically... I think you're going to like this because it's... I suspected I will. I, like, I suspect it's so much that I kept that. Have you had this before, Christopher? I have not. I've waited for this moment to try it. So but that's do that's why we're the, doing the episode tonight. I do so know you can where the other the three other are at. Three. <laughs> okay, it's not as heavy on the chocolate. It's almost nitro smelling. Yeah, no, very I, smooth, I, and the bubbles are mm-hmm. super tight. And I don't think it's a nitro, but I definitely didn't go straight to the taste. <laughs> it's got a little chocolate on the nose, but it smells like a pretty traditional stout. That's nice and balanced. That's a good... Oh, heck yeah. That is a nice intersection between your preferences in beer and my preferences. Okay, let me talk about the little, two little bits of it that I don't like. Okay, before I go. Then I'll talk about the two little bits that I like. Okay, (laughs) is the part that you uh, like, does it have to do with it being just a little bit thin and bubbly? Yeah. And does it have to do with, um, hang on, wait. <laughs> no, I'm going to track that. What else did you like? What's the two little bits that you, you no, I was, like? I was, no, I was waiting for you to tell me what you didn't like so I could say that's what I liked. Oh. <laughs> on that, didn't no, I? okay. So here's what I do like about it. I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a risk here. So I do think you're right. I like stouts that have a little carbonation punch to them. I don't love it's a, it's oil smidge, sludge. It's a little smidge thin for me, but not bad. But not bad. No, it's it's and it's fine. I would say in terms of thinness, it's somewhere between the shoots, Black Butte, Porter. And the obsidian stout. Closer to the obsidian stout, but not quite that thick. You know what? I started to disagree with you. I started to say no, Black Butte is thicker than that, but you're not wrong. You're not it's wrong. It's in that mix. Yeah. Um, the chocolate is nice. It chocolate comes through. is very light for me. Uh, it 
doesn't have an overwhelming coffee flavor that a lot of stouts do. Interesting. It's still See, there. I, I it's think there's there. more coffee to it than chocolate. Really? Yeah. I definitely put more coffee oh. note out of it than chocolate. You're wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I... And there's got a little pepperiness to it. Yeah, so I think that coffee and really stouts... Light. Just, it always, it's like a gut punch for me. And I like coffee, but it's always a huge coffee note. And this sits kind of on the back end, like the coffee notes on the on the end of the taste. Okay, there is one other thing that I, ever so slightly, it's mild. Yeah. There is a metallic note in it on the finish. Yeah. That is not my favorite. Now, I'll give you that. Yeah. It's mild. Yeah. It's nothing to worry about. It's just because it's a thinner beer and doesn't have that really huge body that washes over you, this, this huge slap in the face taste like what you're talking about. Yeah. And it doesn't have that. It's a little more laid back, a little more mellow. Still very good, but it does have a bit more of a tangy finish because of that. So that tangy finish, it's also on the front end. Slightly. Yeah can't have a finish on the front end of the beer. <laughs> that tangy profile. Okay. Take another sip of that and right. swish it around your tongue a little bit. Okay. Am I looking this from the front of my tongue? Uh, just just kind of toss it back and forth all the way down your throat. You taste that tanginess on the front and then it kind of dissipates and then it hits on the end too. Almost like a raspberry tart. Okay, like what I get tartness. more when I swish it around like that is the chocolate really begins to Pop open up. Yeah. It really, it really opens up. That mocha flavor comes out of that. And if you swish it around, it foams up so it feels bigger than it really is. I yeah. think this is pretty good damn beer, man. I wanted to have more stuff from I am definitely, I will say that. I'm definitely not arguing with you. Yeah. It is good beer. I, we it, are splitting hairs here. If it was anywhere close to bad, I don't think we'd still be talking about it. I like it. I want to have more Clown Shoes beer. I guess I get that little tangy Sprite on the front of it. Yeah. Um, okay. One of our favorite beers we've ever done on the show was the Flying Buffalo. Yes. And it was a chocolate raspberry, was it a barrel aged? Barrel aged. Stout. Okay. Set at like 12, 13%. Just... And it was, it was just one of the that greatest episodes. things ever. It was like eating pie. It was so no, nice. so good. Um, this approaches some spots on there. Yeah. But the spots that I'm talking about uh, not liking is the parts that, for me, it falls short. Of course, this has not a raspberry, and this is a Mexican stout, so it does have a little bit of a, a peppery note in it. Yeah. Um, whereas that other one did not. It was. It had this little sweetness in there that, for some reason, I actually in, liked. Yeah. Just a tad of Just a touch. Just touch. Yeah. So, all in all, I recommend it. I say go try it. If you guys get a chance to at least try the Mocha Sombrero, give it a shot. I'm going to say if Clown Shoes can pull this one off, they can pull other ones off. See what they've got. It sounds like a Northeastern beer, but I know for a fact this one was bought in Texas. Yeah. So, maybe they're distributed a little bigger than I think they are. Maybe we should look in Springfield, see what else we can find. I'm going to do you one better. Go get yourself some Clown Shoes Mocha Sombrero. And then pick up something else from Clown Shoes, stick it in the mail, and mail it to us. <laughs> if that's not illegal where you live, I would be okay with this. It's probably illegal. Until next time. Whether it's the illegal beer you're mailing us, the food you're eating, clothes you're wearing, the people you're meeting, grab a buddy and try something new. I suppose it should have been the Clown Shoes you're wearing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it probably should have.